plan, that's what they call me Promise that you never be lonely Hey you guys, it is Chi here. Welcome back to my channel. So today's video is about um, trying to bring up my milk supply after being diagnosed with mastitis. In the past week and a half, I've been having issues with my milk supply because of the mastitis. Um, today was actually my six week appointment. So my doctor and I had discussed a few things. Me and um, my ov had discussed a few things and i also spoke with the lact um a lactation consultant and um we went over a few things so um definitely stay tuned because i have a lot of tips and a lot of um information for you guys that was given to me so i would love to pass it along to those to those of you whom are also pregnant and going to breastfeed or for those of you who are also experiencing the same thing that i am so hopefully you guys um give me a thumbs up and if you're new to my channel i hope that you definitely smash the subscribe button so let's go ahead and get into it i have little milani lani right here my little millie so um at my six week checkup we have discussed um because i am breastfeeding she thought it best for me not to start um birth control because she said there's a hormone in <clears throat> sorry in the birth control that could possibly decrease my milk even more so i'm going i booked out my appointment for july 16 just to see if i can work on my milk supply up until then so i'm hoping that everything that she gave me in these pamphlets help because when i tell you i'm willing to do anything i need to keep my milk supply up because i'm going back to work and obviously way sooner than i want i know i keep saying it but i felt like um it's way too soon for me to go back but it's like it is what it is at this point but um so the number one thing um that she said obviously is to drink a lot of water so if you are breastfeeding or thinking of breastfeeding you need to drink a lot of water so that's one of my main things right now i'm always drinking water anyway because of working out and whatnot um so actually speaking of working out yesterday was my first full body workout um where i can actually go hard um so that was super exciting, but I had to modify some of the workouts. I will actually drop the link of the video that I did off of YouTube um, down below. So if any of you guys would also like to try this workout, um, modify it if you need to. I know I had to because, like I said, I will be six weeks um, postpartum on Monday. Today is Friday. So um, another thing she said to try and eat like super um, healthy fats. Um, so I already love avocados, and she said that avocados could actually help as well. So I'm going to try that um i wish i actually hadn't stopped taking the um antibiotics that she gave me because i really thought that the antibiotics that she had given me was decreasing my milk supply and i stopped taking it the first three days in and um now my right breast is hurting really bad all over again sorry you guys i have milani here and i'm rocking her um the first three days and i wish i hadn't done that like i said because my right breast hurts really bad again so i'm going to start taking them again i know i shouldn't have stopped but until i went to the appointment today i definitely just wanted to make sure that was clear that it wasn't affecting my milk supply so um she also gave me um instructions to keep feeding the baby on my right breast regardless if it is infected she said my milk supply would definitely just completely go away if i don't Sorry, you guys. I'm going to pick up the Milani Lani so you guys can see her outfit. It's okay. Shh, 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 shh. Oops, mommy's over here messing with you. I know. So, you guys, this is my little Milani Lani. My little, I know, I know. Mommy's getting on your nerves. Shh, shh, shh. Um, so, yeah. So, what was I saying? I am so sorry, you guys. So, yeah, um... I still have to feed her off the right breast and she said I actually try and feed as much as possible off my right breast so I'm definitely doing that um hi hi I know this light is so bright Oops. sorry you guys I had to clean the baby's bubble and whatnot but um she's a little fussy so I apologize but I'm a mommy and if you guys are mommies too or mommies to be then you guys understand so I'm sorry but um another tip that I was given is to make sure that I eat um I'm not really a big eater even though I look 
thicker than a snicker. I'm not a big eater actually. So um, I have to remember that I need to eat obviously and eat healthy which i already do so it's not a big deal i was also told about this and i feel like i'm gonna butcher it because y'all if you guys watch my videos i'll be butchering all of my beauty supplies but um it says um it's like a herbal remedy that you it's called fenugreek fenugreek um so it's right here i don't know if you guys can see it um but she said <laughs> the symptoms alone is like diarrhea um sweat um urine smells like maple syrup like increased sweating i already be sweating i don't need to be doing no extra sweat and i be because when i get really bad anxiety i start sweating you guys like it's crazy like i literally had to get the lumi deodorant i paid 20 dollars on it on amazon for for it on amazon because when i get super anxiety when wherever i'm out or whatever i I get the I get the sweating but um yeah so that's another thing the number one thing that I actually um definitely doing is the um hold on hold on hold on power pumping so I'm going to do the power pumping um 30 um 30 minute sessions twice a day she said the power pumping would definitely increase my milk supply so you know i'm gonna be pumping like crazy so um that's definitely everything that i'm trying to do also when you are pumping or feeding if you're going through the same thing that i'm going through make sure you massage your breast while you are feeding or pumping um i'm ordering this bra right here i will post it like it'll be somewhere up there um but I'm going to order this bra so I can be hands-free. And I would definitely do love to do another video for you guys of me doing the power pumping um, in another session. Um, so you guys can see if it's, you know, doing its thing. So once the bra comes, I will do a power pumping video with that bra on. Just so you guys can see, like, how that's working out or just how it works in general. So um, I'm pretty much just trying. Hold on. I know. I'm pretty much just trying and i'm desperate at this point to do anything i get my milk supply up so um let's go ahead and um try this power pumping because mama is mama really 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 needs to um make sure i can feed baby like mommy's milk is amazing milk and i don't feel like spending hundreds of dollars on milk but if i absolutely need to then i will i mean it just is what it is but um I would love to use my milk because I think my milk is, is best for her because she has a very weak stomach. We've been going in and out the doctors trying to make sure we can figure out, like, you know what I mean? Um, keep her tummy good. So let's go ahead and get into this power pumping. Oh, no, not, 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 not. This is going to take a while, but... It's okay, it's worth it. Do some power pumping to increase my milk supply. So right now my left boob is putting out more milk than my right boob because I have mastitis and I stopped taking my medicine for a couple days because I thought the medicine was decreasing my milk supply. But, um... What it actually did was just bring back the mastitis with a vengeance because my right boob hurts like a lot now. I wish I hadn't done that, but I went to my six week appointment today and I most definitely need to continue taking the meds, which my husband already said, but. Like even if it's just putting out drops while you have mastitis, it's still best to continue to still try and power pump because that's what's gonna help increase the milk supply. So I think I have a yeah, I have a timer on my pump, and I'm already three minutes and 25 seconds in. Um, I started and had to stop the video just because I noticed that it was blurry. So y'all like my light makeup. I tried some more of my makeup from, so if you see the glow from BoxyCharm. So I will put the link down below for my BoxyCharm video. Because I do giveaways on there, you guys. So mommy's out there if you want to win free makeup, you can definitely um, go to the links down below with my boxy charm, and I have two new videos um, that I just did, and I am also doing the Ipsy um, glam bag, so I can do comparisons. Um, so I can do giveaways on those as well, mommies, because I know we have to do like still keep, you know, just our makeup done, something like anything. When we have babies, we let ourselves go sometimes because we make sure that we're doing our mommy thing and we forget about ourselves. So, um, 
definitely go check those videos out so you can have the chance to win. My right boob is killing me. It's like barely putting out anything else. It's like drops. But drops is better than nothing. It's gonna have to adjust. There you go. Push it up a little bit more so that it could. Yeah, the left one's still going. I can probably get about five ounces out of my left boob right now and then I barely have two on the right one, but I'm still gonna keep pumping for the 10 minutes. Stop. Pump for 10 more minutes. Stop. And then pump for 10 more minutes. It's power pumping. So from what the lactation consultant said, um, if I do this twice a day, it'll boost my milk my milk supply because it'll um, pretty much send like a um, signal to my brain to produce more milk. Um, it's like as if the baby was having a growth spurt, she said. Um, she also told me to eat like a lot more avocados, high protein um, granola bars, which I have to go buy more of. Um, I will also show you guys more. Ariana, can you get the bottle and show it for me? It's on the bottom shelf. It's the body armor drinks. Uh, my friend told me about, my friend Lizzo, if you're watching, hello, um, about these drinks. And I've been trying them and actually really did help boost my milk supply just a little bit. But since the mastitis, I'm really struggling to get, can you show it for me? Like, so this is the drink right here. It has coconut water in it. Um, it's a super hydrator, so you can drink it, like, in between your water that you're already taking in um, or, like, substitute for one of your 8 ounce, 16 ounces of water that you normally drink for the day. Drink one of these. So I drink one of these a day, and it's actually been helping. She also said there was something else in, I guess, root beer that can help boost your milk supply. I haven't tried it yet, but I'm going to – anything I can do to boost my milk supply for the baby, I'm going to do it because I found out that um, – I'm actually going back to work sooner than I was supposed to, and I'm not happy about that. And my milk supply, because of my mastitis, has decreased a lot. So right now I'm doing anything I can to increase my milk supply. So another thing I've been doing is eating a lot of oatmeal. Um, I already said the granola bars. There's also Aussie Bites. I just finished them. Um, they're really good for your milk supply. It has a lot of flaxseed, um, high protein, like super high protein bites. I will post a picture of it because I already ate them. Um, so I'm going to post a picture in here somewhere but um those were super helpful if you eat like three of those for like a snack within like an hour or two your breasts are going to be engorged um but like i said that was before i had the mastitis so my left one will be like the left one is the small boob and the right one is the bigger boob but i'd be having like biggie small going on um which my husband nicknamed my boobs because my right one's bigger than my left one but especially during like the engorgement the left one's been getting really like super big um because of like the bites and stuff and the mastitis the right one really hasn't been getting as full as i would like as you can see the bottles how much the left one is producing versus the right one i'm like at this point i'm desperate and will do anything to get my milk supply up so she said this would help and so i guess i'm just gonna do this as long as i can so um she said pretty much i guess an hour out the day i could do this so yeah i'll do this the 30 minutes the power pumping stop sometime later tonight i'll do the power pumping and then um pretty much just go from there and I will, i'll do like an update on this video so that you guys can see like if my milk supply increased um but so far so good. I'm getting milk out for the baby's next feeding. I had to leave her with dad and I was really upset because I can only pump two ounces, but I just fed her too, so that's probably why. I only could pump an ounce out of each boob, and um, I wasn't happy about that. I was really worried that I wouldn't have enough milk for her when I left her. And there's Similac here, but I don't like that Similac. Um, it was a gift, but if we ever have to supplement, it has to be the Similac Pro Sensitive because she throws up a lot, you guys. Like, I'm talking about a lot. Um, so... If I go back to work and I can't increase my milk supply, I'm going to have to substitute two ounces of the Pro Similac because I do not want to have, spent, have to spend money on milk. And I will breastfeed my daughter as long as my body allows me to. Even with the mastitis, I didn't give up breastfeeding. I know I was. Um, my, breast, my best friend asked me if I gave up um, breastfeeding because of it. And I'm like, nope, that whole left boob and the right boob, um, she's still been getting fed. But I've been trying to feed her a lot more from the right one because they said I don't want my milk supply to pretty much just decrease. So... I'm just going to do my best. I'm trying to see what the timing is. And I'm at 10 minutes. So I'm going to pretty much stop the breast pump and then um, I'll start up again. I have to rest for 10 minutes in between. So if you guys want to power pump and try this, you pump for 10 minutes, stop for 10 minutes, pump for 10 more minutes, stop 10 until you get your 30 minutes of pumping in and then um, do it again at night for another 30 minutes for a total of an hour a day. Um, this would help increase your milk supply by a bunch from what the lactation consultant said to me um, this morning. So we're going to see how this works. Um, so far, I have enough for her next feeding and then a little bit to save. Um, for later but hopefully this works out you guys because I need all the milk I can get so that when I need to leave the house hubby can you know stay with the baby not even that I need to increase my milk supply so she can eat in general so let's see how this goes yeah Ariana can you stop that for me sorry guys I can't stop the video because I'm pumping <laughs> All right, you guys, so I just finished my second session of my power pumping. The baby's up, so I have to give her some of my milk. 
This is two ounces out of the right breast that has mastitis, um, the infection in it. And this is, how many ounces in here? This is a little over four ounces off the left breast. I have one more session of power pumping to do, but I have to feed the baby really quick. So I'm going to give her the one with the less milk in it first. Um, and then if she needs more, I'll give her the other one. So that's a total of six ounces in just my 20 minute session. And I fed her about, I uh, pumped about two and a half, almost three hours ago. And she drank that before I, um, I had left. So I'm going to see how the rest of the pumping session goes. And I have one more session tonight. And I'll um, try and see if I can record that one as well to see how much milk I can get out of it. But um, I'm going to go ahead and um, feed baby and then I'll jump back on my vlog. All right, you guys. So I have officially finished all of my 30 minutes of power pumping. I will try and pump again tonight. So after this power pumping session, I was actually able to get seven and a half ounces of milk. Um, the left breast gave out um, the five ounces. I think it was actually a little over five ounces. So, so almost eight ounces of milk. Um... I'll be honest with you guys, my right nipple hurts like hell. It's super sore, and I um, so that was quite uncomfortable. Um, and it, it's, this nipple extended out a little bit more than this one, so it is very sore. And I'm still feeding baby off of both of my breasts just to try and increase my breast milk as much as it can, um, as I can. I also just finished um the body armor drink, and I actually need to head out to the store so that I can go get um some more water bottles because we are completely out in the house and we only drink bottled water i know sounds very uh, you know crazy but we only drink bottled water in here so um i definitely have to go do that so i really hope this video helped somebody out there any mommies if anybody has any any questions for me chit chat with me in the comments and i will definitely get back to you guys or you can contact me at joker Fit mom 2051 or you can just um hit me up on my gmail and everything all the information to get in touch with me is down in my description box below before I get out of here, you guys, I also do unboxing videos, boxy charm, and I also do giveaways. So I just received all of my envelopes so that I can send you guys the goodies. And I also just made my own logo. I'm waiting for it to um, get sent to me. So like my stickers, I'm waiting for those to get sent to me. And I also have a mini printer. So when I get you guys addresses, my handwriting is ass because of my nerve damage um on my right hand well in my right hand so i have this mini printer that i ordered off of amazon i can't wait to try it um to see how it works out so i can definitely i wanted to have my own unique type of mailing my little bubble wraps and whatnot so i send you guys makeup so i will leave a couple of my boxy charm videos down below in the description box um i believe i have my two newest links i still did not pick anyone yet so if you guys are watching this video and you have not yet watched my boxy charm videos you still have a couple of more days please guys i hope you subscribe to the channel comment um and like in order for you to participate in um winning any of the products that i will you know be picking out to send to you guys um, to whomever the winner is so once again guys thank you so much for watching my video until next time bye